Hi, and thanks for watching. My video today is part of Multiplicity Crafts 10,000 subscriber celebration giveaway collaboration hop. I'm so excited for Miranda over at Multiplicity Crafts who has recently achieved the milestone of 10,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. This is a hashtag driven giveaway hop with giveaways provided by Whimsy Stamps, Kendra's Card Challenge, This Calls for Confetti, Multiplicity Crafts, and me, Tracy Schultz. Here's a quick glimpse at some of the things that I'm going to be including in my giveaway prize. And you'll have to check below for all the details, including the hashtag, which is hashtag MC10K Celebration. The theme for this hop is interactive cards, and we're going to create this interactive shaker card that features stenciling. Let's get started. I'm using the layered party stencil set from A Colorful Life Designs. This is three stencils in a set. And we're going to start with the sprinkles, which is layer number one. I have my waffle flower mixed media mat, and I have chiffon ink from Catherine Pooler. And I have small blending brushes and you can use your blending domes if you would like to your foam dome blending t tools or you could use um, I have like little fingertip blenders that are fun to use when you're working with stencils yeah so any kind of tool that you normally would use for blending with your stencils is perfectly fine and I did speed the video up for the sake of time um, that's not normally how fast I move or how quickly I move. I've been known to be a slow crafter. Okay, next we'll put down layer number two, which is these adorable little hearts. And I'm going to use the color ink Pucker Up, which is pink. It's a Catherine Puller ink. What I like about this three stencils, these three stencils, is that you could use them for other occasions as well. So for example, if you just want to use the sprinkles and put a picture of a cupcake or a birthday cake as your background on, in, in the foreground and use the sprinkles as your background, that would be cool. If you want to use these hearts for a Valentine's Day or an anniversary card, there's just a lot of versatility in this stencil set. And by the way, I'll have a coupon code in my description box below where you can save 10% off your stencils out of Colorful Life Designs. The next layer, which is the third layer, is stars. And I'm going to use blue, Cumberbun is the color that I'm going to use. Now I wanted you to notice that these six by six stencils have little, what I call register marks um, in the margins. And that is what you use to line up your stencils each time. That way you know you are layering them exactly where they need to be layered. But really, if you don't feel like getting that precise, you can just wing it. I just thought I would demonstrate for you the little register marks are in the margin, and that's how I lined up mine. Okay, now I have these amazing A2 waffle flower crafts um, shaker covers. Um, it took me a few minutes to figure out how to use these, but what you need to do is peel off this plastic film and it even says you know peel this off it's a protective film and what you're left with here is your um, A2 size it's going to be a shaker that um, is the entire cover of my card uh, the cover this, so it's going to cover my entire card um, what I like about this it takes the guesswork out of trying to build a shaker card um, this is really the easiest way that I know of to create a shaker card. And the look is pretty cool because you'll have people wondering, how in the world did you put that together? And how is all that confetti staying inside? Speaking of confetti, I am using this calls for confetti um, for my sprinkles inside my little pouch. So leave the top open and sprinkle in whatever makes your heart happy. I've got some sprinkles again, some confetti from This Calls for Confetti, the beautiful magenta color, and then this beautiful blue color. I'll have everything listed in my description box below. And I also have some pearlescent ones from Spellbinders. 
I find that these three together look pretty cool and very closely match the color of the inks that I selected for my project. And, um, you know, you don't want to overfill it. Uh, the first time I made a shaker card, I really overfilled it and it just didn't have the desired effect. The idea is that you want to have a nice little layer of shaker goodness inside. You don't want to have too much. One other thing that I added were some seed beads, just some clear seed beads. And why I did that was to give it a little bit of a sound effect. I think these little clear beads just really put the shake in the shaker card. <laughs> um, just something about that sound and how they roll around inside against the paper. So not only do you have the confetti little bits sparkling and shining inside there, but you have the little beads rolling around there as well. Now, if you stay tuned to the end of my video, I will have a demonstration of what this sounds like and what it looks like when it's all done. I also want to encourage you to hang on to the end where I will show you what my prize pack is. And I want to encourage you to please make sure you visit all the other YouTubers who are part of this hop today and congratulate Miranda at Multiplicity Crafts for her achievement of 10,000 YouTube subscribers. As a person who just has a little over 3,000 YouTube subscribers, I hope someday I get to 10,000. And when I do, I too would want to have a big celebration. Um, and to celebrate all the people who take the time to watch, that's what it's all about. I sealed the top of my shaker and now I can move on to my sentiment. I have this die that says celebrate from Catherine Puller and I have this beautiful, beautiful waterfall paper that was sent to me from one of my YouTube subscribers. Uh, she knows how much I love pretty papers and she was kind enough to send me a card and include some samples of this beautiful waterfall paper. I'm going to use this for my sentiment. And again, the word that I use to celebrate, I chose to do this because I feel it's a celebration for Miranda at Multiplicity Crafts for 10,000 YouTube subscribers. I am going to stack some white words, celebrate, and I'm going to stack about four of these on top of each other before I add that final layer in that beautiful pink paper. Uh, this is just going to give it some dimension and add a little bit of interest, I think, um, to the card. I have it on a piece of washi tape just to hold it in place while I apply my Barely Art glue, which that um, little washi tape trick was something I learned off of Jennifer McGuire. So I um, think it really does help to hold things steady um, as my um, attempts to line things up correctly. Um, just to keep things from sliding around. I, I find that it really does help. I used Tamara Mill 100 pound paper to cut the word celebrate out four times with this white cardstock. And then for my ink blending with my stencil, I also used Hammer Mill 100 pound paper. I'm just speeding things up here in the interest of time. So there's a little bit of, it looks like stop action animation, but it's just my um, editing software trying to keep up with the speed that I've accelerated my video. I want to thank everybody for watching today and for checking out all the videos that are part of this hop. Don't forget it's a hashtag driven hop. Also, um, if you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you're notified of when I post videos or do lives. And make sure you check out all the other awesome videos that are part of this hop today. And please make sure you read the description box for more information on the products used and the rules for the giveaway. Now it's time to add the crowning gem of my work. Um, it's very satisfying after gluing all those different die cut words together on top of each other to be able to put the very top layer. 
and I do love this paper. It is very shimmery and shiny. And it's going to look great on the front of my shaker card. And I am using double-sided tape to adhere this shaker pouch to my A2 size card base. I wanted something that is um, secure and felt that this was my best option. And I do the little trick where I fold the edges back on the double-sided tape, then flip it and lay it on the card panel. Here's the finished card. You can hear what it sounds like with all the shaker bits inside of it. And here are some still photos to give you an idea of how nice it looks when it's completed with those beautiful confetti pieces inside. I wanted to share with you my prize pack, which includes the Fairy Good Friends stamp and die set from My Favorite Things, a Simon Hurley background stamp that's a pull apart stamp, two stencils, some distress ink, and these really cool fingertip brushes. Um, they come in a cylinder container. You can just slide them on your fingertips. They're great for working with stencils and they are a brush material. And then you just stack them together and store them inside the tube. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to uh, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks to all the sponsors of today's hop and congratulations to Multiplicity Crafts on 10,000 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this shaker card. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.